What's up everyone? Here I am uh, to talk a little bit with you guys. So I told you all I'm gonna be doing the I did a, a video in Portuguese, so I post on my IGTV on Instagram, I post on my Facebook, I also put that on my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna talk about the same stuff but in in in, in English, you know, for my friends who speak English. Guys, we are in the hard time in our life, right? So we all suffer a little bit about the the coronavirus. So uh, I was trying to share with you guys a little bit my what happened with me lately. So uh, as I like, I I am a I am a referee in Australia. Uh, I I am a Jiu Jitsu professor full time, and I also uh, I love comp compete, so I'm a competitor as well. So uh, not talking about MMA, I haven't fought MMA for a year or uh, more than that. So the both gym that I work we close the comps. I'm not a head referee. I'm not a referee of any comps anymore. The comp doesn't happening, um, and also we I have no goals, and I'm the type of the guy I always like to target a goal to lose weight, to be fit, to train for that comp. So what are you gonna do now? No comps, nothing. So I haven't trained for like three or four weeks. I gained like ten kilos. Uh, pretty fat. <laughs> so I gained 10 kilos, and then the last uh, uh, two days ago, I spent probably four four days in my dark room watching Netflix and just like, man, I don't want to do anything because I have no money. Uh, and then I was like, man, it's the end of the. Of course, all the things happen as well with me and my private life was like man what I gonna do so uh, uh, on Monday yesterday I wake up in the morning it's like man I need to do something so what I want to share guys like from someone a whole is like past that hard time and then now I'm going through to the good times what I want to share is like, I know that's going to be hard. I know this is going to seem like impossible. I told the same. I made a few mistakes when I actually was thinking like, man, that's going to be the end of the world. We're going to die. And then now I am, yesterday was like an amazing day. I come back with my YouTube channel. I post one video in Portuguese. I did IDTV. I did a live. Because I believe uh, doesn't matter who you are, what do you do? You know, if you not, if you share a little bit, what are you feeling, and what is your ideas, and then if that are like a right, some people's gonna be uh, like you're gonna help some people as well. Gonna be helpful, you know what I mean? Like, so that's uh, why I'm doing that. To share with you guys, someone was like really deep down there for a couple of days, and now I'm here. I'm back, and yesterday I come back with these, these, these. I I run. I did a couple squats. I did these, these, that. I, I work. I did a meeting with the guys from the gym that I work, and we are super excited. Even with we are in the hard, hard, hard time, without to know it's pretty hard. How are we gonna work? Thinking about the future. Let's say a business guy. How that business guy work? I'm gonna invest here because in five years I'm gonna take the double of money from me. But but a lot of business guys thinking like that, right? Like they invest now to get two three years. That money gonna come back, gonna be more. But how are we gonna do if you don't know what is the future? So the only thing that you can do is think always positively. You need to be pause all the time even if it's so hard you need to be paused that's my second day 
of being Poland, which is hard. That's my second day that I'm in the diet. That's the second day that I'm gonna do things that I, I wasn't doing. That's the second day that I'm gonna do exercise. So, in that hard time, guys, try to be Poland as much as you can. I know it's hard. I know even for me, it's easy to me to say, but maybe you're not gonna be able to do. But try to be positive all the time. Doesn't matter what happened. Imagine if you are normal life, it's already hard, all right? It's pretty, pretty, pretty hard to be positive all the time. To thinking about, now nah, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going, because life is hard. It's gonna come, it's gonna hurt you here, it's gonna hurt you there, you're gonna go down, you're gonna get up. So the adult life is not easy. Sometimes I wish I'd come back five years old again and leave you with my parents. But it's that's the only thing you have to do now. You know, like yesterday I have like a, a friend of mine that I work with, Tiago, telling me a few things. Just like open my mind a little bit. And I was talking with uh, Daniel and Mari in the other gym that I work. And Mari opened my mind a little bit. Daniel was like, man. If you and then she say something very 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 good like that's the time actually to thinking about uh, thinking out of the box. Don't be in the box thinking out. People's gonna call you crazy, but when everything's finished, you're gonna be a little bit ahead. But if you don't do anything, you just like no, I'm not gonna do anything now. It's like it's a time to do the things. Uh, that's my advice for you all. You know what I mean? Like, and I would like to. After that post, after the things on my social media and YouTube, man, go there, comment, let me know how you guys going at your gym, how your training is going. So yesterday, I I decided to run a little bit. That's a good advice. If you don't want to have like a, a social, uh, if you want to maintain a social distance, just try, let's go. Uh, let's say I live here in Rubina, so I, what I do, let's, that's like, not many people at the street, so I try to run, like, no, it's not a city, go somewhere that not many people, so I know what I did, I ran 3Ks, I wasn't training for three, four weeks, so I was, I, I'm really, really unfit, so I was running there, and then uh, every, like, two, three minutes, I stopped, and I did a 20 squats, but, but when I realized I did it, a hungry squats, you know, and then I did, uh, like, a 50 push-ups, just on the way, you know, walking, running, and do something. And I did like a 30 burpees and I did like a, a hungry star jumps. So I felt so amazing, so tired after, but I'm feeling good because I did something today. I'm gonna do another exercise, I'm gonna do another thing. You know what I mean? Like for the person who's uh, like, uh, used to train like two, three, four times per day, if you do at least do one and it eats a little bit more healthy and they start doing the things, you're gonna feel better. That's what I'm feeling now. That's my advice. And then guys, try use that time as well to put everything that you wasn't able to do when you was like a full schedule, try to do this now. For example, uh, I haven't washing my car for like, I don't know, three, four months or more than that. So this week I'm gonna wash my car, I'm gonna have a time. I wasn't planning to do videos, to talk with people, so about be a little bit more active on my social media, but because I believe I can talk a little bit well, I wasn't doing that. So now I'm doing again. I come back from my YouTube channel, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So now it's time to organize your life. And I, I believe may God give that to we all to set, sit, sit, like sit a little bit. It's like, oh, that's what I have to do. Okay. So that's my advice for you all. Please comment, share. Let's try help each other. All right. Have a great, great day, guys. Oh,